Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. por favor si pueden escucharme se puede escuchar con dificultad
Confirma, por favor, si puedes ver la pantalla. Ahí sí. Muy bien, eh, les voy a... Vamos a ver el siguiente video. Me confirma si pueden escuchar, por favor. In order to make negative statements in the past. Yes, teacher. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how the Fíjense que estaba lloviendo bastante por acá y la señal del internet está bastante mal. No sé qué tanto me pueden escuchar ustedes. Le voy a entrecortar. Escucha entrecortado, teacher. Bueno, voy a poner la presentación y vamos a hacer lo posible. Voy a hablar lo más fuerte que pueda para que puedan escuchar el día de hoy, ¿verdad? lamento mucho los inconvenientes, pero esta tormenta sí está horrible acá. Bueno, el día de hoy vamos a estudiar el siguiente. Les voy a compartir la pantalla. Me confirma, por favor, si pueden ver la presentación. Sí, se mira. Y es dicho. Este es el tema de hoy, el simple pass, regular verbs. Existe con los verbos regulares. Existen dos tipos de verbos, ¿no? los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares. En esta oportunidad vamos a estudiar los verbos regulares. Para formar el pasado, los verbos, vamos a seguir cinco reglas que vamos a leer a continuación. ¿Quién puede leer la regla número uno, por favor? ¿Alguien que pueda leer la regla 1, por favor? 
Row number one. Regular past simple tense is formed by adding ed to the verb. Examples, loud, washed, start, called, and list, listened. Bueno, a la mayoría de verbos vamos a agregarle una de verdad, pero existen algunas excepciones que vamos a ir viendo en las, en las siguientes reglas. Muchas gracias. Veamos la siguiente, la regla. Esa es la regla número 10. Si los verbos terminan en un saje, solo vamos a agregar una de verdad. Como el verbo like, por ejemplo, que termine en eso, lo agregamos una D. Agreed, solo vamos a agregar una D. Okay. El mismo caso, que termine en E, agregamos una D. Okay. Agregamos una D también. Siguiente regla. ¿Quién quiere leer la número 3, por favor, un voluntario? Rule number 3. If a verb ends in constant plus G, you take off the G and add a D, D and E, E, D. Example, carry equal carrier. Try equal trial. Fry equal fry. Cry equal cry. Thank you. Muchas gracias. En la regla número 3, si un verbo termina en consonante, más y vamos a eliminar la y y vamos a agregar i y d vamos a agregar i y d a los verbos como ejemplo carry carry write 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 teacher in the una cuarta una cuarta sección que vamos a ver a continuación If a verb ends in a vowel plus y, la regla anterior nos decía que si es una consonante más una y, entonces vamos a eliminar la y. Pero si es una vocal más una y, tenemos que agregar solo que ve. En ese caso, vamos a ver: play, 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 enjoy, enjoy, delay, delay. Esos son los ejemplos para la regla número 4. La regla número 5. Si hay algunos verbos que terminan en una shower vowel y una consonante, la consonante usualmente se duplica. Agregando ed, por ejemplo, stop. stop. Vamos a duplicar la pérdida. Tenemos una vocal y una consonante. Entonces agregamos otra P. Plan, el mismo caso. Consonante vocal, consonante. Duplicamos esta función. La segunda consonante, plan. Hop, hop, back, back, to. Veamos el siguiente ejercicio. Pueden completar estas oraciones con la forma correcta del verbo. Pueden escribirlo en el chat. Pueden escribir, por ejemplo, la número uno, ¿cuál sería la forma correcta en pasado del verbo watch? Watch it. Pueden escribirlo en el chat, please. Vamos a ver por acá. Ok, excelente, Carla. Thank you, Verónica. Watch, eh, we watch a movie. Next. La siguiente, use. ¿Cuál es el pasado correcto de use? Use. Ok, thank you. The next, number three. ¿Me ayudan con el número tres, por favor? ¿Me ayudan con el número 3, please? Sí. Yes, babe. 
Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Mateo. And babe, and what about number four? Can you help me with number four, please? Don't see that. I don't see, teacher. Can you see now? No. No, teacher. No. Now. Now yet. Yes. Can you see number four? Chop, chop. Okay, excellent. That is correct. Thanks. And uh, what about number five? Thank you. That is it. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Florida. Thank you, Veronica. And that is the last one. Thank you. Right. Thank right. you. Uh, volunteer to read sentence number one and number two, please. Who wants to read them? We watched a movie last night. Sam used the computer an hour ago. Thank you very much. And number three, and number four, another volunteer, please. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. Who shopped the good outside? Thank you. The last two, five and six, please. Who wants to read them? Dan cooked dinner for you last week. Week is cry the whole night. Thank you very much. Well, entonces for spelling, we need to, to follow these five rules. Let's do this again. Rule number one. A la mayoría de verbos le agregamos que de verdad. Si son verbos regulares. Rule number two. Si los verbos terminan en una e, solo agregamos de. Rule number three. Si los verbos terminan en la combinación consonante más Y, quitamos la Y y agregamos una I normal, I, E, D. Rule number four. If a verb ends in a vowel plus a Y, si el verbo termina en una consonante más Y, solo agregamos el verbo. Y acá están los ejemplos. Play, played, play, great. Enjoy, enjoy. Delay, delay. And rule number five. Algunos verbos que terminan en una vocal corta y una consonante, la consonante usualmente se duplica, agregando ed. Por ejemplo, stop. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Tenemos que duplicar la letra P, la última consonante, antes de agregar ed. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Do you have any question? No teacher. No question? Ok, thank you. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, I need a volunteer, please, to read this small paragraph. Who wants to read this small paragraph, please? Last weekend, I walked to a restaurant. When I go there, I glance through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a steak. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tastes great. Okay, excellent. Can you tell me which are the regular birds? Which are the regular birds in this paragraph? Thank you very much. Work. Okay, this is one. This is one, Wolf. Thank you. Glanced. 
glance. Uh, arrive. Arrive is another one. Thank you. Under. Order. Order. Hand. And 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 the last one is? Taste. Taste. The last one is taste. Thank you. So look at this. Todos estos verbos terminan en ED. Pero esa ED es pronunciada diferente en los siguientes verbos. Look at this. This is walked. Esto lo vamos a pronunciar con T al final. Glance, glanced. Arrived and ordered. Handy and tasted. So we're going to learn how to, to know, how to know, cómo saber cuándo vamos a pronunciar con el sonido. Cuándo vamos a pronunciar con el sonido. Y cuándo vamos a pronunciar el sonido. Y that is what we're going to learn in this part of the class today. And look at this, how I am going to pronounce this sound. ¿Cómo vamos a pronunciar esta ED? Y acá está la pequeña explicación, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a utilizar el sonido it if the words end in a T or a D sound. Si el verbo termina en sonido de T o D, vamos a utilizar el sonido I al final del verbo. Look at this example. El verbo want termina en sonido de T, ¿verdad? Want. Entonces vamos a pronunciar el pasado wanted. Wanted. Need termina en sonido de D. Need. Entonces el pasado es need it. Need it. Vamos a usar el sonido de la T al final de los verbos con, por, con las, los verbos que terminan en voiceless sounds. What is voiceless? Do you have an idea? What is a voiceless sound? ¿Alguien tiene una idea cuáles son los voiceless sounds? Cuando pronunciamos los sonidos, ¿verdad? hay algunos que producen vibración en la garganta y hay unos que no. Por ejemplo, los siguientes no, no producen esa vibración, ¿verdad? Son sonidos planos, ¿verdad? El sonido de P, K, F, S, C, H, S, H, C, H, o P, H. Cuando pronunciamos esos sonidos, like... Con esos sonidos no hay vibración. A eso se le llama voiceless sounds. Cuando el verbo termine en cualquiera de estos, de estos sonidos que están acá, entonces vamos a pronunciar la ED como una T. En el caso de este ejemplo, el sonido termina en PEB, en P, HELP. HELP. Entonces el pasado va a ser helped. La M, esta D la vamos a pronunciar como una T. Helped. Wash. Washed. Washed. Y por último tenemos el sonido T. Todos los verbos que terminen en una vocal o en los siguientes sonidos. Am. Um, um, and in J or Y en Z. Todos estos sonidos a las células producen una vibración en la garganta. Eso se llama voice, voice sound. Y también las vocales. Con estos, si el verbo termina en cualquiera de estos sonidos, vamos a pronunciar la ED como una D. Call. Por ejemplo, call, hold. Hold, play, played. ¿Pueden practicar diciendo estos verbos, por favor, en pasado? Want you. The next one. Need it. 
El siguiente, please. With T sound. Yeah. Health. 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 Thanks. The next one. Watch. 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 Thank you. And the next one. With B. Um. Called. Played. Then remember this. We are going to pronounce it cuando el verbo termine en sonido de T o D. We are going to pronounce the sound cuando los verbos terminen en estas letras que están acá. En estos sonidos, cuando terminen en estos sonidos, vamos a utilizar T. Y vamos a utilizar el sonido de T cuando los verbos terminen en estos sonidos. En the sound. In this sound. So let's practice this. Can you pronounce these sentences? Siguiendo las reglas anteriores. I used a scarf. I used a scarf. Thank you. Number two, please. The ice cream melted. Number three, please. He pushed the bottom. And the last I one. Started, I started for the test. Thank you very much. So look at this. Um, here we can see in this part over here, we can see the correct sound. I used a scarf. The ice cream melted. He pushed the button. I studied for the test. Can you say it again, this sentence? Can you practice the sentence again? Who wants to participate in number one, please? I used a scarf. Thank you. Number two, please. The ice cream melting. Thanks. The next one. He pushed the bottom. Thank you very much. Excellent job. He pushed. He pushed the bottom. And the last one, please. I started for the test. Thank you. Ok, finally, it stopped raining here, right? Finalmente dejó de llover. So, I guess you can listen better now. Let me know if you can listen better. Yes. Ok. Um, I apologize by the sound, but it's rained so hard here. And now let's see. Do you have any question about how to pronounce it? D? Vamos a repasar. ¿Cuál era la, para el sonido T? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar the T sound? When are go, we are going to use the T sound? Cuando no hay vibración. Ok, excelente. Cuando el sonido final de un verbo ¿verdad? no tenga esa vibración, que sea una voice, voiceless. Y acá están los ejemplos de esos sonidos. P, K, F, S, C, H, S, H, C, H, or T, H. Excelente. When we are going to use the it sound. When are we going to use the it sound? When the bird finish in T or T. Thank you. When the final sound of a bird is T or D. Thanks. And the last one, when we're going to use the D sound to pronounce it D. When the bird ends on the vowel sound of 
on yes. top or the top. Yes, excellent. Cuando el verbo termina en sonido de vocal, in a vowel sound, or the following sounds. L, M, N, J, R, G, B, V, W, and Z. Nice. So, now you tell me, ¿cómo reconozco cuál es un verbo regular y un verbo irregular? Porque existen dos tipos de verbos. Bueno, desafortunadamente, en ese caso, solo tenemos que descargar ¿verdad? Eh, una lista de verbos you type on google eh, list of regular verbs y les va a aparecer ahí las opciones ¿verdad? para descargar una lista de verbos regulares eh, aquí sí tenemos que aprendernos uno por uno ¿verdad? para poder reconocerlos porque no existe una fórmula para decir este es regular este es irregular sino que solo tenemos que aprender Vamos a ver en los verbos irregulares también, ¿verdad? Que cada uno tiene su forma en el pasado. No, no se rigen por ninguna regla como estos que tenemos esta ayuda, ¿verdad? En los verbos regulares agregamos ED, I, uh, I y D, ¿verdad? En los verbos irregulares cada uno tiene su propia forma. Y la única manera es consiguiendo una lista, ¿verdad? Y uno por uno irnos los aprendiendo. ¿Cuántas palabras se aprende cada día? Eh, por ejemplo, con los verbos podría ser, Laura, cinco verbos diarios, diez verbos diarios, eh, ten verbs daily, y aprendérselos de memoria. Es la única manera. So, now let's see, making affirmative sentences. ¿Cómo vamos a utilizar estos verbos en una oración? We need to use the following structure to make sentences in simple past. We are going to need a subject. We are going to need a verb in the past tense plus a complement. We are going to follow this structure to make sentences in simple past. Let's see the first example. I study on Sunday. It is the subject. Here is the verb in past tense. On um, Sunday is the complement. To watch, to watch television. And here is the subject. Here is the verb in past tense. And here is the complement, television. She stayed at home. She stayed at home. Subject, verb in past tense and complement. We shopped. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday. Number one, which sounds I need to use in this? ¿Cuál sonido lleva este verbo? AD. Okay, the sound E train. In the next one, watched. Watched. T. Sí. T, eh, stayed, stayed. D. T sound, eh, shopped, shopped. T. T sound, eh, exercise, exercise. What is the sound? Exercise. What is the sound? Is it T or is it T sound? D. D. No, in this case, it's T sound. It is T exercise. I volunteer to read the number one, please. I volunteer to read sentence number one. I studied on Sunday. Thank you. The next one, please. The next one. Who wants to read the next one? You watch television. Thank you. The next one. The next. Who wants to read the next sentence? Help me, please. You can do it. 
she stayed at home. Thank you. She stayed at home. She stayed at home. The next one. We shopped for groceries. Thank you. We shopped. We shopped. Shop. It's with, with T at final. It, yes, you have to use the T sound. We shopped for groceries. And the next one, please. Can you help me with the next one? They exercise on Sunday, Saturday. Thank you very much. They exercise on Saturday. Excellent. Thank you. Then let's practice this. Use the verb in the box to complete the following sentence. Saying the correct past sound. Number one, for example, what is the correct verb? Which verb do you think is the correct one? Leave, enjoy, stop, jump, or stay. They jump, stop, or stay. They jump, they cruise. No, they enjoy that. Cruise. Enjoy. Ah, okay, they enjoy. And in past, which sound do we need? Enjoy you. Enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy. Oh, wait, wait a second. What is the exercise? Okay, they enjoyed. They enjoyed the cruise. Number two. The car of the light stopped. Yes, a stop is the correct word. The car is stopped of the light, which is the final sound of stop. D sound. Mm, D sound. D sound. D sound. This, this sound stopped. The car stopped at the light. Number three, the frog very high. Jumped, 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 jumped. Jump. Jump. Okay. jump, jump is the correct one. Now to say this in pass, which one is the correct sound? T or D? D. Okay. It's T, right? It's T. Okay. Jumped. Jumped. Rose. Rose home alone. Stay. 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 Okay, Rose stayed at home alone. Which is the sound for this very Stay? Stayed or stayed? Stay. 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 With D. D, with D, with stayed. D. What about live? The last one, mm. he lived in Rome long ago. D. 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 D sound, right? He lived. D sound. Thanks. Let's see this. How to make negative sentences. Then to make an affirmative sentence, we just need we just need a subject, a verb in past tense, plus a complement. Now, for make a negative sentences, we are going to need the following structure: subject, didn't, didn't, verb in present, plus complement. El pasado se va a caer en el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Y el verbo lo vamos a escribir in present. We're going to write the verb in present. So look at this example. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. So to make any sentences, we need subject, 
subject, in this case, I, we need D then, this auxiliary did plus not, contractado se pronuncia didn't, study the verb in present on Sunday. Who wants to read the first example? ¿Quién quiere leer el primer ejemplo, please? I didn't study on Sunday. Excellent. The next one, please. You didn't watch television. You didn't watch television. Thank you. The next one. She didn't stay at home. She didn't stay at home. Thank you. Excellent. The next one, please. We didn't shop for groceries. Excellent. Next one. The last one, please. Who wants to read the last one? They didn't exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Thank you. That was excellent. Now I have an exercise here for you. We are going to practice this. Let's see. Number one, what is the correct sentence? Can you tell me the correct sentence, please? You have to order. You have to unscramble the words and say a complete I sentence. I didn't help my sister. Thank you. I didn't help my sister. That is number one. Let's see the next one. He didn't wash her car. He didn't wash his, his car. car. His car. Thanks a lot. He didn't wash his car. That is the correct answer. The next one. We didn't play yesterday. Golf yesterday. Thank you. We didn't play what? We didn't play. We didn't play golf yesterday. We didn't play golf yesterday. Thanks. Number four. What is the answer for number four? The boys planned a trip to Mexico. The boys planned, planned, planned a trip to Mexico. Trip to Mexico. Okay, excellent. Next one, number five. What is the, the answer? The period Susan the fear with Susan was dance waltz. The fear with Susan dance waltz. Good try, but that is not the correct sentence. Continue trying. Peter dance with Susan the waltz. Yes, it could be. Okay, look, here are the answer. Number one, who wants to read number one? I didn't help my sister. Okay, I didn't help my sister. Number two. Here is number two. He didn't wash his car. He didn't wash his car, things. Number three. We didn't play golf yesterday. Thank you. And number four, please, the boys. The boys planning, plan, planning a trip to Mexico. The boys planned, planned a trip to Mexico. And number five. Peter danced the, the waltz with Susan. Peter danced 
the world with Susan. Okay. Excellent. Do you have any question about this topic? The, the simple parts of our of this bear is I need very practice for I remember this rule. Uh, can you please repeat? Necesitaré practicar bastante. Oh, yes. Um, you need a little practice, right? With the sound. With the sound part. That is the most difficult part. The spelling is kind of easy, right? Escribirlo yes, bien. Es... Tell me, tell me. Tell me. When, the, when I use the, that part or the sound, it's very difficult for me. For it, it's identified where, where is the use. Maybe the learn the rule is very important. Yes, yes, they are, right? Of course, the rules are important and we need to follow them. And the spelling is kind of easy, right? You say that the, uh, most of the verbs we have ed. The verbs that end in e, we just add d. The end, the verbs that end in consonant plus y, we did it y and write i e d. And so that is kind of easy, but to identify the sound, you need to practice. Just practice. Where, it, where I can find that example for this? On the plan. On the platform, you can find some examples. You can find some examples of this. And I'm going to play the video for you to listen. Um, I guess it works at this time. So give me a second. Haven't you watched the video? ¿Ya vieron el video en la plataforma? No. No yet. Hello, Veronica. Yes. How, are you? How are you today? Tired? Today is Monday. On um, Monday, you are so tired. How was your Monday? How was your Monday? Very tired. Yes. Very tired. I'm sorry to hear that. But tomorrow is Tuesday. In 10 minutes, you are going to go to the bed. So resist. You can do it. You can do it. I hope it works at this time. So this is, okay, you can find this video here on the platform where you are going to listen. The in order to make the negative statements in the past. We are going to listen to this conversation. So let me know, please, if you can listen. Hi, Jennifer. Can you listen? Yes. Yes? Okay, here we go. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Listen again, please. Pay attention to the pronunciation of the regular birds. In past tense, please. Well, I had a busy weekend. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing.
I didn't study. Okay, let me know, please, which one are the regular verbs in this conversation? Which one can you find? How many can you see there? Driver. Mm, oh, no, I feel no, no. a little tired. <laughs> in that case, an adjective. Exercise. 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 Okay, exercise is one, Clean. yes. Clean. 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 Shopped. Shopped. Studied. Studied. Studied and visited. And visited. Okay. Excellent. So it's exercise. Uh, cleaned. Shopped. Visited. Or visited. And studied. In the watch? No. Watch? Oh, yes. Watch is another yes, one. Watch watched. 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 With T at the end. Watched. Watched. With T sound at the end of the bird. So, two volunteers to practice this conversation, please. Who wants to practice? And say, Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. Uh, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all the weekend. ¿Alguna vez les pasó? ¿Tenían examen y no estudiaron? Yes. Yes. ¿Y cómo les fue? ¿Sacaron 10 o dos? Un patito. Un patito. <laughs> Ten. Ok. Lucky you. Qué buena suerte. Ok, tu volunteer, please, to practice this conversation. Tu volunteer. Yes, two. Yes, two volunteers. No volunteers tonight. Big. Big. Uh, okay. Who we'll say me? Can, can you please put your hands up? Sí, Mateo. Okay, Mateo en... Mateo en... Me. <laughs> Veronica, okay, Veronica, Mateo and Veronica. So, Mateo, you are Michael, you are going to be Michael, and Veronica, you are going to be Jennifer. Please. Okay. You okay. can start. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I started. In the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned the, the laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on su Sunday? Sunday. I studied. I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Thank you. How do you pronounce this word? Yes, second. How do you pronounce this? This bird. How do you pronounce this? Is it cleaned or cleaned? Cleaned. Cleaned. Oh. cleaned. Okay, with this sound. Excellent. How do you pronounce this bird? How do you pronounce this word? Exercise. 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 Okay, excellent. Two volunteers. The last two volunteers today. The last two volunteers, please. Who wants to participate? Thank you, Carla and Carla and Carla and hello guys. A victim then. 
I'm going to choose someone. Carlos, can you help me, please? Okay. Okay, you can start. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Thank you very much. Very good job. Thank you. Yes. Just to practice, how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this better? Study. 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 How do you pronounce this bird? What? Watch. 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 With this, with this sound at the end, watch it. And what? this one, and this other one. Study. Study. Okay. Excellent. Any new word in this conversation? Any new vocabulary? No. 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 Okay, now this question is for you. Did you have a good weekend? How was your weekend? Yeah. Did, did you have a good weekend? Very good weekend. Yes. Yes, teacher. I have a uh, good weekend. Okay, excellent. No, teacher, I don't have a good weekend. Oh, you didn't have a good I don't weekend. have a good weekend. I'm sorry for you. I'm no. so sorry for that. Okay. Can you tell I'm me? Because the, tell me. Uh, because I I work the, the Thursday and eh, Friday, por eso no pude conectarme. Me quedé trabajando hasta tarde. No por el partido, sino por estar trabajando. Okay, we we miss you. We miss you. La extrañamos mucho aquí en la clase a todos los que no se conectaron también. So can you tell me if you did something of this this um, last weekend? Y si hicieron algo, díganme la oración. Si lo hicieron o no lo hicieron, está el fin de semana. El fin de semana. Study. Estudiaron algo este fin de semana. So you say, I studied. I did. <laughs> Uh, I, I finished the platform. Ah, oh, then you say I studied English. I studied English. And all of the demás pueden decir I didn't. I didn't study. I didn't study. What about the next verb? Shop. Shop. Yes, I, I shopped. I shopped with food. Ah, then we say I shopped. I shopped. I shopped. Okay. I shopped the last weekend. 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 ¿Quién no puede compras? ¿Y puede decir la oración negativa, please? I didn't shop. I didn't shop the last, last weekend. weekend. Okay. I didn't shop. Excellent. I didn't. What happened? I didn't. I didn't shop. Uh, the next one, play. Did you play something during the weekend? And you say, I played. I didn't play. I played. I didn't. Bueno, hay un micrófono que está haciendo interferencia, no sé cuál es. Thank you. 
Then I didn't play, right? I didn't play. Now, what about the next one? Exercise. ¿Quién hizo ejercicio el fin de semana? Exercise. Nobody? Nobody say I exercise. I didn't exercise. I exercise or I didn't. I didn't exercise. Okay. So do you it's have it's correct to say I do exercise? Uh, yes, it's correct, but in this case, um, el do es como para hacer énfasis, ¿verdad? Let's see if you say, uh -huh. I did exercise. Uh -huh. yo, yo sí me ejercité, ¿verdad? I did exercise. Yo sí me ejercité. That is to make emphasis to the sentence, right? Okay. But you can use it. I did exercise. Yo sí me ejercité. Uh, do you have any question? Do you have any question about today's topic? No, no only I have more practice. Okay. I apologize for the beginning of the class. The sound wasn't the best, but it was not my fault. It was the fault of the brain. I'm sorry. Yes, the rain. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you, Flor. So, section four. ¿Quién ya va por la section four en la plataforma? Can you say, me, teacher, section four? ¿Ya comenzaron en section four? Yes, me. Okay, congratulations. Please say them, Floridalia. Okay. Section um, five. Yes. Section five, okay, ah, excellent. Ah. Excellent, you are doing good. Perfect. So, I don't okay. remember. <laughs> ah, quizás ya resolvió el examen final. Excelente. No, ya hice el examen. Sí. Um, ok. Bueno, si nos hace falta algún ejercicio por ahí, vamos completando la plataforma para que nos quede al 100%. Al final del curso, que nos quede al 100% completa. Si algún ejercicio se equivocó y le marca que no ha logrado el 100%. Recuerde que puede regresar a cualquier sección, ¿verdad? Y corregir ese, ese porcentaje que le hace falta. Corregir ese ejercicio para que el porcentaje le llegue al 100%. Si no hay más sí, preguntas. Yo tengo el problema, el problema es que cuando lo hago en celular, no me, no me pone chiquitito. Mm. No sé por qué. Bueno, voy a preguntar qué sucede. Porque no debería haber ningún problema. Si se puede utilizar en el teléfono. Y en la computadora también. Voy a preguntar. Si no le va a tocar en la laptop. Pero déjenme ver en la computadora. Ok. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Thank you very much. Eh, see you tomorrow. Los veo mañana. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye-bye, Carlos. Good night.